What has happened in recent years is that it has, using new manufacturing technologies like 3D printing and other desktop fabrication techniques, it has become possible basically to go from an idea, from a concept, to a working product that you can sell online in just a few weeks. We can expose students to the entire product design process, including marketing and actually working with real life customers. It's really revolutionary in a lot of ways. Um, we were just told to think up something to make, uh, you know, discover a problem that you know you felt needed to be fixed or you could find a way to fix. This is a two compartment teapot. There's a divider on the inside that you cannot see that splits it into two separate sections. As for the designs on the, f on the side, it's based on the duality of tea. You have a wavy kind of watery liquid patterns on one side and then um, cubes like a grid on the other side, which is like a tea field. It's, it's separated into like blocks of where tea is. You know, we did get to see a lot of the different um, types of 3D printing ones for one fact, but you also got to learn uh, a lot of the features and where they're trying to go with this. So our project is a way to hold headphones and keep them untangled and to keep them clean. The body is hollow. You put the headphones in the body and it protects them. You wrap the cord around the neck and it becomes the strings of the guitar. And so we have the acoustic version and we have an electric guitar version. We're calling it No Fret Chords and it's the simple, trouble-free solution that keeps your chords in harmony. Um, I think this whole design process is definitely not something I'd ever been exposed to. It was really cool just like seeing all the thought that would like go into some sort of design like this and, and even the like different iterations of it like after we got the prototype back, just like analyzing it and like seeing what we did wrong, what we could do better. Um, I thought that was all very, it was like helpful when thinking about like really real world engineering. For engineering, if you wanted to design something, usually you would have to machine it or do another process and that would be very time consuming. With 3D printing, as, so, as soon as you have your CAD drawing, if you have a 3D printer on hand, you can print it in an hour or so and have a prototype ready. You can figure out what needs to be improved and redesigned and do that immediately. There is something much more authentic about actually designing a real product that is actually going to be sold to somebody that you don't know than to just making a project for a professor. Uh, it's also much more rewarding, I think. Uh, if you can actually create the design and then sell it, have somebody that does not know you buy the product, actually pay real cash for your product and use it, it's a very, very rewarding and empowering experience and that's what we want to achieve in this course.